right guys today we're going to keep it short and simple the question I get asked most often is about how to launch the car and um, I've seen it on the forums and everybody trying to walk people through it and, and explain to them how to do it um, but I figured today that I would uh, just get in here and show you guys okay first and foremost uh, when you hear guys talking about they turn it off advanced track, all right? So we have our traction control button right here. And when we just toggle it quickly, it turns on and off your traction control, all right? To do advanced track, you're using the same button, all right? But instead of toggling it, you're, you're gonna hold it in position for about five seconds. So 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. So there you go. Now advanced track is off. All right. So traction control is on. Advanced track is off. All right. So we've all established that um, launching into, and it's going to say launch control unavailable. Just uh, d d disregard that. Don't even sweat it. All right. So we know that we want to be in track mode. All right, in order to get the best 60 foots um, and really the lowest ETs right now, I mean, everybody's doing it in track mode, all right? Now, when we got it in track mode, all right, and we are in drive, all right, <laughs> you've got to put it in manual mode if you want to be able to shift past its factory preset, right? All right, I I'll be honest with you guys, that's something that at times I forget. So don't don't be a Dumas like me and forget to put it in manual mode and wonder why your your car shifted itself. Hey, exactly why? Okay, uh, I've made that mistake. And that's the reason why I'm telling you. Uh, the other thing is if you like to do long burnouts and you burn out past the beam and you back up, all right. And we put this in reverse and we back up, all right. Now we're gonna put it in drive and be ready to go. Hey, what 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 do we got to do again? You've got to put it in manual mode. All right. So now we are in manual mode. Oh, I'll need the driver. Uh, need the winch walkers. Now we're in manual mode, right? So I've got everything toggled the way that I want it. I'm sitting in in, in the staging lanes, and and I'm the next one up. All right. I come over here to my Cobra. All right. I pull up my track apps, and I go ahead and get my line lock open so while i'm sitting in in the staging lanes right getting ready to go up i'm, I'm already I already have it on here all right so now i'm in the burnout box all right and here's here's the reason why i want to tell you go back about this real quick okay now some of us like to drive around the water some of us like to some of you drive through it i mean i, I get it but if you like to drive around it okay and then you put your car in reverse we're now in drive. You don't have to hit the manual, but I mean, if you wanted to shift itself through the burnout, I mean, that's okay. Some of us like to control the uh, shifting it through the burnout. But whatever you decide, just remember when you go to reverse and you go to drive, you if you want to manual shift this thing, you better be hitting the manual button. Okay. All right. So I, I just want to kind of bang that through, bang that in because that that's probably the mistake that I've made the most. And I mean, if I'm making that mistake. Uh, you know, I, I just want to try to prevent you from making the same. All right, so now we are uh, ahead of the water. We're getting ready to um, to do our burnout. So all we've got to do is hold the OK button. All right, it's going to throw up our tire, and then it's going to tell us to press firmly, and then click OK. So now I, I'm ready to do my burnout. I'm doing my burnout. I let go. I hit the OK button. I roll through. All right. Uh, now I'm done. Now I'm gonna roll up to the uh, to the beams. All right, I've got my my first uh, light up. Now I've got my second light up, and I'm ready to uh, get on the two step. All right, and it's already set. So I've already got my RPM set at 3,200, the whole bit. And uh, let me just back up a little bit. <laughs> My truck's in front of me, and I'm just like, you know, 
you know, the dumb shit in life that happens. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to launch this thing into my truck. Anyway, okay. So, <laughs> so I'm in drive. All right, we got it in manual mode, and I'm ready to get on my two step. So everybody's telling you, hey, don't hold the brake very much because when you let off the brake, the car launches, right? So the harder you're pushing the brake and you let go of the brake, the little bit longer that it's gonna take you and your reaction time. This thing has a delay. Um, and our reaction times are, are, are pretty horrendous because of it. So to minimize that being a problem, you want to barely hold on to the brake. So in this case, all right, I'm barely holding the brake just to where the car isn't moving, all right? So just barely where the car isn't moving. Now let, let's hit the, the gas and jump on the two-step. All right. Now, <laughs> barely hit it. Now let's say that you barely, you, you go to get on the two-step and it's only coming up a little bit. That just means you put, need to push the brake pedal a little bit harder. Just push a little bit harder. It'll get on the two-step. And as soon as you let go of the brake, boom, you have launched your GT500 and uh, you're gonna get awesome 60 foot times low ETs and all that great stuff unless you go into clutch over time. <laughs> so there you go guys that's exactly how to launch your GT500 uh, in track mode so if you got any questions hit me up uh, hopefully this was helpful um, hit the uh, subscribe button man I, I appreciate you guys watching the videos uh, and, and checking it out uh, hit the bell a notification I wish I could tell you that uh, I'm on this uh, great schedule of giving you content and you guys get it as I do it so <laughs> I, we're gonna, I do it for fun I'm doing this for fun and uh, like I said I hope you guys uh, enjoy the content that I give you and that it's helpful to somebody so uh, that's it if you got questions let me know if someone's got uh, a tip or a trick about launching these things that uh, maybe I didn't just mention by all means jump on here let us know uh, we'd love to hear from you uh, again guys appreciate you and we'll catch you on the next one